Francis, thanks for joining me. I'd like to begin by asking you to tell me about your role and a bit about Streaming Well. Thanks for having me. Uh, my current role at Streaming Well is I'm the CEO and co-founder uh, of a company that was started back in 2009. At Streaming Well, we primarily work with the medical industry to provide educational videos which we produce and distribute on the Streaming Well network. That network is a partnership of online and offline health publishing uh, websites as well as StreamingWell.com and our social media branded channels reaching audiences like patients, carers and healthcare professionals across Europe and worldwide. And what sort of feedback do you get on your patient videos? We get uh, really good useful comments because our videos are really personal to patients and uh, one great example that we have is we got a tweet from a, a, a patient who was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and they saw our video uh, on diagnosing the early stages of rheumatoid and uh, basically the comment was it was a great video and I wish I had that video at the time when I went to see my GP because it would have empowered her to actually you know ask the GP for a referral or insist on a referral uh, to a rheumatologist, which is not easy to always do. In what therapeutic areas do patients engage more with your videos? Really all, all our videos uh, benefit um, the therapeutic areas. We sort of break them down into two really popular ones. So on, on the chronic uh, conditions, I think there's a great benefit to our videos because people tend to come back often as there's new information available online and it's a recurring issue. I think the other category that's important to look at that, we, that, that our videos are effective for is acute uh, conditions. So um, for example, uh, I tore my Achilles tendon playing tennis and uh, I went online very quickly to find uh, information about what I could do, you know, try to self-diagnose the issue. When you have an acute condition that you need rapid information for, I think not only patients go there, but I think their carers do as well, so that they're more equipped to speak to their healthcare professional about what happened to them. Videos like th physiotherapy are a great example of uh, engaging the audience because they, you know, you can't really replicate an exercise through copy. You could do it through a leaflet, but it's not as effective. With the videos that we produce, you can get them on your iPhone, online, when you want them. You can access it. They show demonstrations of how to perform a specific exercise and that's really useful for the patient as well as for the physiotherapist or the doctor who wants to send off somebody with uh, exercises to do on a weekly basis. Uh, health publishers, which are some of our uh, partners on the network, also like these type of videos because it adds quality information. So you have a strong social media presence. Do you find that there's one channel that's more effective in distributing your material? We actually look at our social media strategy as a holistic one, so we don't really target individual ones. We tend to feel they work better in combination with one another. The key thing for us is, you know, trying to understand why people go on social channels for information. They're always looking for updated and current information. So social media channels cannot be uh, static. If not, people won't come there. So our main focus is to publish as much material as we can and really distributed across the channels. So in therapeutic areas such as diabetes, you've produced material around maintaining good health, such as recipes. What further material do you plan on producing around patient well-being? The patient's well-being and maintaining a healthy lifestyle is really at the essence of all our video content. Uh, it really helps them with uh, managing uh, compliance of their medication and just more, more broadly helps them uh, manage better health. So in the case of the diabetic recipe videos, we wanted to create uh, tasty recipes that the whole family could enjoy and not just the affected patient. So what opportunities are there for pharma to learn from your videos or get involved with your videos? People in the medical industry, uh, such as pharma, have great knowledge of patient needs. So uh, usually through uh, unrestricted educational grants, we're able to benefit from their knowledge and, and really produce the kind of video content that will help patients. Uh, secondly, we tend to collaborate with patient advocacy groups uh, as they are key in identifying uh, the unmet needs of patients. And lastly, uh, because uh, of the interactive nature of the, the videos we produce, 
uh, we're constantly learning from our audience, uh, whether it be patients or carers or healthcare professionals, and really constantly updating our content and learning more about what they're looking for online. So thank you, Francis, for your time. Thanks for having me. PharmaForum.com is the dynamic online information and discussion portal for the pharmaceutical industry.